In the last video, we learned how to add Firebase to our React Native application. In this video, we learn how to create an email and password login system with Firebase and React Native. First thing we'll do is install NativeBase into our application. It's a UI library which makes it easier for us to create our form. So let's go ahead. Make sure you're in your project folder and type npm install NativeBase. Now that we have the library installed, let's create the layout. Come to our project and we need to import a few things from native base. So there we imported container, content, header, form, input, item, button, and label from native base. You will see how each of these works when we create the layout. So let's get rid of the view from here. And instead, let's put in a container. Inside the container, we'll put in a form. Inside the form, we'll put in an item. The item will have a label inside it, which we'll call email. And also an input field. And the input will have two properties. One is autocorrect equal to false and auto capitalize equal to none. These are default props provided by native base to us. Let's just save this. As we can see, our email field has gone up and it's out of the screen. So let's do one thing here. Let's put a style to the container and call it styles.container. This is already created for us, for us over here. But what we need to do is we just need to get rid of align item center. So there we have the email field over here. One more thing we have to do here is let's just put in floating label as a prop to the item. What that will do is it will give us a nice animation. So when we tap it there we see the email field goes up. Similarly let's create a password field. So let's copy that. Paste it in here. Change this to password. And one more prop will come in here, which is secure text entry. We'll set that to true so that the password is not displayed. Next, we'll just put in a button here to submit our login. So we'll call the button text login. And here we'll give it some properties. One is full, rounded, and success to give it the color. Let's save this out. And there we can see we have our login button. Let's just make some slight changes to this. We'll just give a style here, which says margin top 10. And let's give a padding to the container. So that it just looks a little better. So there we have a login layout ready. In the next video, we'll connect this login layout to our Firebase database.